Adam did not put that in there. Hello and welcome to a Super Bowl edition of the Wino Diaries. We are the Junkie Twins and today we're going to cook something up for you I believe. What would that be David? Well Anthony, when I think of football and food, yes. I think wings. Absolutely. So uh, today we're going to try somewhat of a wing, but with cauliflower. For all you veggie weirdos out there. <laughs> I must say I've never been the biggest fan of cauliflower, but I have had these wings once before at Dave's restaurant, uh, Hometown Barbecue in Red Hook, and uh, they were amazing, actually. Great texture, and actually quite hard to tell the difference between that and the and the real chicken wings. Let's give it a crack, shall we? Let's do it. What are we going to be drinking today, Anthony? So, given it's uh, the Super Bowl, I thought I'd pull out something a little special today for us to drink. Thought I'd go a little bit of the champagne. <laughs> or at least the champagne of beers. Miller High Life. Great drop. Great drop. So, first things first, let's preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and get your oil ripping hot. Let's go ahead and floor it this cauliflower. I just like nice small pieces, that's the, to, for extra crispiness. Could I interest you in a uh, drop of... Yes, please. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. Tastes like a beer. Shit, yeah. So, uh, who you got in the Super Bowl? Predicting the Eagles to take down the <laughs> That's about your bigger size that you want. Yes, unfortunately, our beloved Eagles are not in the uh, Super Bowl this year due to a horrific run of uh, injuries and really bad officiating. But in good news, the Pats aren't in it either, so that's certainly a bonus. I tell you, you'll be taking the 49ers. Yeah, um, so we're just gonna uh, lightly oil a little olive oil here on the uh, cauliflower and then a little seasoning as well before we put it in the oven. Mm. Plenty of salt. Uh, so we're just going to put them on a baking sheet and chuck them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So while that is cooking in the oven, we're going to make our batter for the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I believe it's called a frito misto. Oh, fancy. And um, I actually got this recipe from Ali Plummer, the chef from the Red Hook Tavern. Really? In Red Hook. Oh, that's cool. So this is her... Great establishment, by the way. Great mm. establishment. Cheers to them. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Equal parts, flour, cornstarch, and then double that in seltzer. Seltzer? Maybe a little bit more. Oh wow, that's cool. Alright, let's, let's do let's it. Let's have a look. So I'm going to use cups as my measuring. So we'll go a cup of flour, a cup of cornstarch. Just make sure that's not uh, icing sugar. Oh, <laughs> Christmas day we accidentally used icing sugar instead of cornstarch or self-raising flour or something. And that's why you should always taste. So we're going to season that a little bit. So doubling that recipe, pass that around. Nice and bubbly. Yeah, real frothy. Gives it like a lighter batter. Yep, nice and light, crispy. All right, so we're at about, what was that, 30 minutes? Yep. 30 minutes and they look delightful. Brown. Mm. 
nice and soft. Good. So uh, we're going to chill these down now, get them as cold as we can, as quick as we can. Cool. Alright, so we're going to go start with this um, hot sauce for the wings. A couple of tablespoons of butter. Let's go a quarter teaspoon of chili pepper or cayenne, depending what you have. Alright, and then we go half cup of Frank's hot sauce. And we're basically just heating this up. Give it a stir. Perfecto. Deep, deep. Nab, Tia. <laughs> so they're still nice and cold now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw them into the batter that we've made and we're just going to let these marinate for say 10, 15, 20 minutes or something. Yep. I want these to be as cold as possible when they go into the oil. So oil's ripping, our uh, batter and cauliflower is nice and cold, and we're going to start frying this off. What's the sound you want? Just breaking it up as you go, keeping it in individual pieces. What about all-time favourite wings that restaurants? Oh, it's, it's a tough one. It's probably hometown. Yeah? Yeah. Their wings are good. Yeah, I thought you'd say Hooters. Well, I mean, for memories, yeah. A little too used to it though, I guess. <laughs> also, just your wings from the Melbourne days, cooking in the backyard. So good. Watching the NFL, amazing. Those American days we used to have. <laughs> American day. So we're coming up to about six minutes now. The color has darkened, it's golden brown, and the actual cauliflower itself is super dark really black kind of colour, which is what I'm looking for. It means the flour will be cooked and then we're going to uh, drain it off and sauce it up. So we've just got a slotted spoon, I'm just going to put it straight into some paper towel here. Right, so our sauce is warmed. I'm going to put this straight into a bowl. Those cauliflowers look amazing. Right, so I'm just going to salt these a little while they're nice and hot still. Yeah! <laughs> Such great texture. Crunchy, spicy, perfect. Mm. Amazing. Really crunchy. Mm -hmm. 